If you are truly saved, if you have really experienced the new birth, if all the old has passed away and all the new has come and you're a brand new creation, if the Spirit of Almighty God, the Most High, has come to live within you, you know it. You don't need any preacher to tell you. Now, many of you have, you know, attended services or, or seen services, uh, videos of services where people uh, come forward, in a, you know, the preacher calls them forward to receive Christ or to get saved, to accept Christ. And the preacher leads them in a prayer. They call it the sinner's prayer. And afterward, the preacher would say, well, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. You are born again. You are saved. I tell you the truth, when I see that, even when I think of that, it makes me cringe. Why? Because that is not scriptural. That is far from the truth. When you are truly saved, you know you're saved. You don't need anybody to tell. In fact, if you need someone to tell you, if, if, a, if the preacher needs to tell their listeners that they're saved, they're preaching the wrong gospel. Seriously, if you're really saved, if you've really turned from your sin, if you've really turned to God, if you really died to yourself, if you've really been risen with Christ, if you're really a new creation in Christ, if the Spirit of Almighty God has come to live within you, and you're born in the Spirit, you've been born again, you don't need anybody to tell you. In fact, you are telling other people. You're telling other people, guess what? I had this experience and it completely changed my life. I'm free from sin. The power of God, the power of Jesus is more powerful than sin. He has dissolved sin in my life. He has kicked it out of my life. I've repented from my sin and he's helped me with whatever I, don't, I can't help with myself. You know, people don't need anybody to tell them that they've repented or that they've got saved or that they're born again. If you're born again, you know it. If you're born again, you know it. Now, a lot of these preachers, a lot of these churches, they say, well, you know, we want to keep it biblical. We want to, we, 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 we want to keep everything scriptural. You know, we want to do it according to what the, what the scriptures say. But let me ask you a question. In the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, in all of their evangelizing, in all of their preaching of the gospel, when did they ever do an altar call and call people to, be, to say the sinner's prayer? And when did they ever have to say, oh, by the way, just in case you don't know it, you're saved. By the way, just in case you don't know it, right now you're born again. No. On the contrary, the people who were born again in the book of Acts told other people that they were born again. They don't need anybody to tell them. They don't need any preacher to tell them that they're born again. You don't need a, you, you don't need a man to tell you that you're born again, if you're really born again. You know it. The scriptures say that the Spirit witness, witnesses with you that you're born again. I mean, you should know by you should know yourself that once you repented, you should, you should know yourself. You're a completely new person. You're a completely different person. You're 100%, the old, the old is gone, 100% is all new, okay? It's born again. I mean, in order to be born again, you must have a death before you have a birth. So the Spirit witnesses with your spirit. The Spirit of God witnesses with your spirit that you are born again. You don't need to have anybody tell you. In fact, preacher, if you have to tell other people, if you have to tell your listeners that they're born again, you're preaching the wrong gospel. It's time for you to shoot straight, preacher. It's time for you to, t to preach it the way it is. It's time, to, it's time for you to preach like, it, like Jesus preached. Preach it hard. Preach it straight. Tell them they must forsake all. Tell them they can't have one ounce of themselves left. Tell them that they must be born again by the Spirit of God. They must die to themselves. They must repent. It's the first thing that Jesus said. Repent. It's the last thing he said to his church. Repent. By the way, talking about what Jesus said to his church in Revelation. He said to one of his churches, he said, I'm on the outside knocking. Please let me in. 
If you hear me knocking, come and open the door so that I can come in and fellowship with you. And a lot of people say, oh, God is in everyone. Jesus is in everyone. No, he's not. Absolutely not. That is not true whatsoever. Jesus said to one of his churches, think about this. He didn't say this to the world. He said this to the church. Okay? I'm on the outside. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. Let me in. Does that tell you something? He's not on the inside. He's not on the inside of everyone. Even those within the church. He's not on the inside of everyone. You need to let him in. Once Jesus is in your house, Paul, you know it. You know it. You don't have to have anybody tell you. You know it. Once you're born again, once you have died to the world and you have risen, once you have become a new creation in Messiah, you don't need anybody to tell you that you have. You know it. When you're saved, you know it. If you don't know that you're saved, you better fear You better start seeking God with all your heart. You know, it says in the scriptures, those who seek him with all their heart will find him. That means you must forsake your pride. That means it may cost you your your reputation. That means it may cost you even your job. It, It may cost you everything. This is what Jesus preached. You must forsake all. So I encourage you to seek God with all your heart. And if you're saved, if you really have the Spirit of God living within you, you know it. You know it. You don't need anybody to say, to, com- to comfort you saying, oh, by the way, in case you don't know it, you have the Spirit of God. That's pathetic. That's not scriptural. Seek God and He will be found. Trust me.